we just grew out of the ground. Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager with F5. And we're here in San Francisco at the Moscone Center for the 2012 RSA Conference. If you're at the conference, come visit us in booth 2147. And with me, I have Preston Hogue, who's our Big IP Data Center Firewall Solution Product Manager. Thanks for joining us, Preston. Yeah. Thank you, Peter, for having me. Right on. So um, can you tell our audience just a little bit first, welcome to the show. I think this is your first time on with me. Uh, absolutely it is, <laughs> yeah. And so tell our viewers a little bit about the Big IP, Big IP Data Center Firewall Solution. Yeah, absolutely. Um, F5 uh, has the stance where we believe that the, the overall firewall market has been communicating that a firewall is a firewall is a firewall. And so um, we really believe that there's a, com a distinction between inbound services uh, to the internet data center and then outbound services. And the majority of the firewall market has been focused on the outbound services, and F5 is really focused on the inbound services to the internet data center. And so what makes this solution unique? I mean, it's, it's on the Big IP local traffic manager, an application delivery controller, and now we have a certif ICSA certified network firewall. Like, how does that all work? Yeah, well, absolutely. So, so F5 is, uh, as a company has traditionally been a security technology. Um, but really that ICSA certification is about the attestation or accreditation, the recognition that we're a firewall. And the real key dis uh, differentiator between our technology is that we're, we're the internet data center in itself is really focused on HTTP, DNS, those really core services, right? Where you look at those traditional firewall vendors and they're focused on 3,500 uh, uh, 3, different protocols. So they're very wide, but yet very, very shallow in their outbound services. Where we're focused, we're focused on very narrow set of services, but yet we go extremely, extremely deep, such as we do in DNS or as we do in HTTP. Now, most network firewalls really function at layer three, layer four. And so, and, I, and ours goes from three, four, all the way up to seven. Is, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, abs absolutely. As I was just describing on those, those really focused services, HTTP, for instance, we focus on almost every element where you look at the protocol HTTP, the primary protocol functions, the sub-functions of HTTP, and then also the associated error codes, right? So we can do anything to manipulate the HTTP protocol as it relates to security. Pretty cool stuff. And then this 48 million connections, that's pretty massive, huh? It is. It, it, it really is. I mean, we, we have built our overall technology on traffic management, right? And, and the key thing about that is traffic management translates directly to control, right? And that control translates directly to security. Mm -hmm. and, and based off of that, the demands of our customers at a traffic management have always been extremely high throughput, but in addition to that, it's been about the ability to ramp connections and also sustain those connections. So naturally, um, as we mature more and, and we uh, present more overall security technologies, we're able to address overall throughput, um, but in addition, when it comes down to DDoS types of attacks, you're looking at ramp rate is going to be in a very critical um, uh, element. The other element is sustained connection rate, right? That top line connection, as you described, you know, the 48 million connections. Why that's so important? Because many of these attacks are also going on for a significant period of time, so they need to be able to ensure they can withstand those attacks for that longer period. And they're multi-layered. Many attacks start at the network layer and then go to the application layer. And so in this instance, it would block not only a network layer DDoS attack, but also a layer seven DDoS attack, correct? Yeah, absolutely, Peter. I mean, you described something that is very important to be able to mention here, right? Is that it's when you're going up the stack, ICMP, for instance, right? We can see ICMP floods, send floods, UDP floods at the same time of also seeing an HTTP Solaris attack or an HTTP slow post attack, right? Or some type of DNS query flood or DNS amplifica uh, amplification attack, right? Mm -hmm. We are definitely seeing all these attacks being launched at once to ensure that they can try to tie up all of their resources. And F5's big IP platform has strong capabilities to deal with all those attacks at once. Very nice stuff, cool. The big IP data center firewall solution. So when you're in the RSA conference, come down to 2147. Preston, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Peter. Always a good conversation with you. And so for Preston, I'm Peter, and my camera guy, Keith, today, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.